Hi everyone, Michael here from Football Golf. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be working on the seven iron once again. It, it is one of the clubs I just want to dial in, but we're going to get back to our drill. So this is part three of the ball compression drill that we've done. So a few things, and the reason why we are doing this once again is because I've picked up one or two errors in terms of my swing that I'm trying to address today. So number one was the take back, which is normally what I saw, I did that. I actually pulled it out that way. So if you look at it from this angle, I was going like that, which is pulling the club out there, which brought on a lot of inconsistencies on my end. So what I'm trying to do today, I'm gonna to use the alignment aid. So we're gonna use the alignment stick, but that's just to show where the club needs to go and what I want to try and do is a lot of people say a lot of professionals say that the club face technically needs to be down in this position when you're coming through in the downswing so what I've noticed is if I take it back that way the club face is open so if I'm bringing it down the club face is open causing slices hooks and everything because I'm trying to adjust that club face so all I'm gonna do today I'm gonna apply all the other golf drills that I've done but what I want to do is try and take this back but I've seen in order to keep that club face square and down this shoulder was rotating that way instead of underneath so if we look at it in this manner it was rotating that way instead of that way you see so if we actually take our club and extend it a bit further up our chest in that manner if we extend our club about there right so that means if I come down club face is square so it's showing me exactly where my shoulder needs to be once the club is gonna connect that ball and if I take it back up that's where it needs to be so if I do that and I come back down I should have a perfect club face through and get through that shot so let's get into today's drill and see if it works and see what consistency we can pick up. Once again, I want to thank all my followers, subscribers. You guys are just amazing. Thanks for liking all the content. And like I said, please leave a few comments if you would like to do so, so we can keep this channel going. I appreciate the feedback. And one of the people that commented on one of my videos said that I need to just speed up this leg. So that might be in part four of ball compression but let's see if we can't factor that in today to keep this leg moving forward as sooner sooner rather than later so thanks for tuning in let's get into our, our session today thanks Ladies and gentlemen, that's basically my drill for today. I hope this has helped you. Please, like I said, leave a comment, drop a like, whatever it is you want to do. Please comment on whatever I've done. If you have any tips that can help me, if you have any tips that can basically just straighten things out, I felt quite comfortable with that and I would take those shots any day of the week. I didn't put a lot on it. I literally just let the club do the work. I'm trying to keep this arm as straight as possible, the lead arm. And I'm trying to keep this arm tucked in through the swing so I can keep the hands nice and close to the body and come through with the perfect swing. 
But once again, this is Michael from Football Golf. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. And like I said, thanks to all my subscribers, followers, friends. You know who you are. Thank you so much. You keep me motivated. Thanks, guys.